How's it going guys, Ultra Sive here, and in today's video, I'm going to be going over the week 5 challenge challenges to make a guide and tutorial on how to do them. So the first challenge of week 5 is deal 5,000 damage to opponent structures, and this one, it's pretty simple. All you really need to do is just get into build fights or start building someone, and if you're not really good at build fights, you could probably uh, shoot down people's builds. I got 2,000 damage and like one... Uh, fight because someone is just placing walls in front of them and I, I was just taking them down. I didn't really know how much mats he had, but he had quite a bit. So yeah, I did, that, that's that's ex kind of an example. If you're not as good as build fighting, you can do uh, that sort of thing. The next challenge is a stage challenge. So the first stage is you need a dance on top of a water tower. Uh, that one's pretty easy. It's just in retail row. Uh, it's a regular water tower you see. It's kind of on like the, I would say, east side southeast side of the uh retail next stage is dance on top of a ranger tower this one's in lonely lodge it's pretty simple just be on the very top of the roof or you can just build up there after you open a chest so you don't die you can get a gun something along those lines and then the final stage is in the winter section of the map you can need to dance on an air traffic control tower so yes this one is pretty simple it's just at like the northern or yeah, about the northernmost side of the city that you need to go. And I'll have a uh, footage of it behind showing exactly where you need to go. Now onto the battle pass challenges. Suppressed weapon elimination. So you can use the suppressed pistol or the suppressed AR to get three eliminations. That's pretty simple. I got them all in retail row with the suppressed AR. It was pretty simple challenge pretty lit um I, I wouldn't say that's overly difficult search seven chests in wailing woods or paradise palms i actually found uh six chests in wailing woods so and after getting uh three chests in paradise palms i would say it's probably easier to go wailing woods and there's like a few buildings around the center of wailing woods that still count as the chests in wailing woods so that's also it makes the challenge a lot easier to do the next one is search between a giant rock man a crown tomato and an encircled tree uh and this will give you a battle star basically so it's a battle star more on the east side of tomato temple uh it's pretty easy to find i already made a video on it but yeah, it's just right where on the video where you can see it, I'm dropping down. It's just on the east side at Tomato Temple. And then the next one is just landing at different locations. So the first location you need to land at is Polar Peak. The second location is Fatal Fields. Third location is Tomato Temple. Fourth location is Loop Lake. And fourth location is Snobby Shores. For the Secret Battle Star, uh, after you do all the challenges, it will be located on the southern side of the map. Uh, I have a video in the background showing where you really need to land. Uh, so it's kind of in a hidden cave, and it's kind of a cool location. So, yeah. it's uh, It'll be pretty simple to find after you know where like the circle of trees is. Now, if this video helped you in any way, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and turn on notifications for every single one of my videos. That way you can see new Fortnite guides and when I go live. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I'm out.